Right, so welcome back, everybody. We are up to categorising our transactions in our bank accounts and home bank. Now, apologies, this one is going to be a bit longer than five minutes because I want to show you the full categorisation of stuff for um, Abby and Sam. And I want to show you their whole everyday account. And it will cover um, making sure that you pick up duplicate transactions uh, and also how to do transfers um, from one account to another. So stick with it. It's only about eight minutes, this one. So we'll get into it now. So what I suggest you do is you get to the end of the month and then you come into Home Bank and come into Home Bank probably about the second or third of the month. You want to make sure that all of your transactions have gone through your bank accounts. Things that will be delayed sometimes are credit card payments, uh, credit card transactions if they happen over a weekend, although that should be getting better now. And mostly it's going to be interest. So if you earn any interest on your savings accounts, that will obviously go through at the end of the month. Same with mortgage interest, loan interest, any other types of sort of interest on your on your debts. That tends to go through at the end of the month. So you don't see it um, until you've waited a couple of days. So I would wait for that process to happen. And I tend to schedule doing my accounting and my um, money stuff about the third or fourth. So this is the first weekend of the new month. I set some time aside. And you'll come in and you'll post any transactions that need to be posted. And you'll come in and do your categorization. So let's categorize some of the transactions for Abby and Sam. Now, what we've got here is we've got all the transactions in their everyday account. And as I showed you before, if you keep it in date order, you can see the running balance. And that's fine for when you want to do the reconciliation. But it you can change this around while you're doing categories. It helps to categorize things all at once in, in groups. So if we click on Memo, then obviously that's going to filter everything and it's going to put it all into groups. So if you click on, for instance, Wellington Fruit and Veggie, that's going to be groceries. So you can click on that, hold down the shift key, and then click to the end, and then highlight all of that group, and then click on this little button down the bottom that says Edit Multiple Transactions. And then you can go in and you can put in the category for groceries, and you're just going to start with GR, and it will pull up groceries, and you'll go OK. And that will then categorize all of those as a lump sum. Then we have Abby and Sam have an allowance. It goes into um, a separate account. So what happens is they've got their everyday account. And each week, they each get $60 each. And so $60 will go off into Abby's personal account. And $60 a week goes off into Sam's personal account. And that's what they designate for their entertainment hobbies, their personal spending. So they categorize that as entertainment and hobbies, and they have to manage that themselves to make sure that they stick within whatever amounts they're trying to um, stick with, you know, whatever budget they might, they've, they've set for themselves. Uh, and that is actually a really good way of just controlling your spending on sort of miscellaneous surplus discretionary items. So they can spend that on whatever they want, but if they run out, then they run out. They can't go and get any more out of their everyday account. So they're going to categorize that as entertainment and hobbies. So hobbies, leisure, movie, all of that sort of thing. So we'll put that to that category. And as you can see, we're starting to get down in terms of the things we have to categorize. Countdown and Foursquare, we can categorize all that as well as pack and save. Now to pick each individual one, I just hold the control key down. Um, and we'll see if they got any others. They, nope, that's all of that. Oh, more Wilsons. That's a grocery store in Wellington. So then we go click on the little multiple edit transaction category, and that is groceries, and OK. Now you can also click on category, and every time you categorize something, it will drop it to the bottom. So they're paying rent, so we can do a lump sum categorization for rent and choose rent and go OK, and you'll see it drops to the bottom. Then they've got some eating out, fish and chips. I think there was $100 for that. Uh, that is 
those. So that is eating out. So we go category, eating out, and OK. Now we've got we've got income here, but it looks to me like this is doubled up because we've also got we've put in our automatic transactions here for their salaries. So we're going to delete that so that we don't double up, and you just go delete, and that will go. Now this is money. Oh, first of all, we'll go up to the house fund because these are savings, but this is going to be a transfer. So we click on transfer. The amount is $400. It went from their everyday account to their house fund. And then we can just put down that. It's okay to put down as miscellaneous, or you could put it under house or wherever you'd like to. You can create a new category for savings if you wanted to as well. And I know that they're also saving to their emergency fund. So again, click on transfer from the everyday account to the emergency fund. And that is, we'll put that down as miscellaneous. Now what the transfer does is it will put that transaction automatically into the other account. So you've got two accounts in Home Bank. You've got the everyday account. They've also got emergency fund. So it's going to say, okay, well, you want to transfer the money from that to that. And so it will automatically do that categorization in the other account. They have a loan payment. So again, that's going to be a transfer to the personal loan. And that is going to be under loan. So that's that category there. Uh, we've got some petrol. I think that's the only petrol on there. Remember, they'll have transactions on their credit card as well. But for now, we'll just put that one through there. Medical insurance. So Southern Cross is insurance and choose health insurance. And then we have, this is car insurance, I believe. Automobile insurance. Now this was a transfer. They bought a couch and they transferred the money out of their emergency fund into their everyday account for a couch that they bought. So that's just something to watch for. And here is their life insurance. Again, life, so this is an expense, life insurance. Their power bill. So again, I think we've got power and gas. So expense, power and gas. Remember all expenses are negatives. And then we've got that's their water rates, water and land, which they don't have at the moment, but they've got water rates. Um, and then there's, oh, they've paid off their credit card. So this one's going to be a transfer from the everyday account to their credit card. If you put in credit, you've got one for payments and transfers. The other side will show up. So there it's asking you and saying, oh, okay, so you want to do this transfer out of your everyday account. We've already got one sitting in the credit card. Yes, we want it to be that one. And then the last one is telephone. And that is it. So that is everything now categorized. We can go back to putting it in date order. And that is their final balance. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to stop and we're going to leave it there, come back and show you how to reconcile and make sure that that bank balance actually matches against their bank balance in their online banking. So I'll come back and show you that in a minute.